I am going to compare the typical LCD office monitor, which is most likely 1080p 60Hz, with a plasma TV, which is also 1080p resolution and 60Hz. But as you will see on this video, the plasma TV has much better motion clarity than your typical LCD office monitor. And before I do that, just as a reminder, this is a picture from the Blur Busters Law. And when you open the UFO test, the default speed is 960 pixels per second. So what does that mean? If you have a 1080p resolution, you have 1920 pixels on the horizontal axis. So if you multiply 2 by 960, you get 1920. So what that means is that the UFO test is going to take 2 seconds to cover a screen width to go from left to right. And when we have this speed, 960 pixels per second, this is what we need to get perfect motion clarity. We need 1000 Hertz. So we need a sample and hold display that is 1000 Hertz to have that UFO test look perfect, which is one pixel of motion blur. So this is how it's going to look. This is how good it can look at 60 Hertz. So it cannot look better than this. You see that? It's a blurry mess. 60 frames per second, 60 Hertz display on a sample and hold. So this is what we are going to see if we have this speed, okay? So we would see it like this if we have 120 Hertz, 240 Hertz, 480 Hertz, 960 hertz or 1000 hertz okay but now if we reduce the speed of the ufo test from 960 pixels per second if we reduce the speed to 60 pixels per second and we have 60 hertz you will see here that is going to look perfect <laughs> because we have one pixel per frame so i reduce the ufo test speed to 60 pixels per second. Take a look at that. It's perfect. Even on a crappy LCD office monitor, the UFO test looks absolutely perfect. This is one pixel of motion blur. No problem at all. Okay? Because it is all a matter of a speed. And some people believe that sample and hole is always blurry and it's just the way it is and there's no way to fix that. And as you can see here, sample and hole can be perfectly clear. And if we have a higher refresh rate, we can move faster. So if we have 120 Hertz, we can move at 120 pixels per second on a sample and hole display. And the UFO test is going to look like this. No problem. If we have 240, we can move at 240 pixels per second, 480 hertz, 480 pixels per second. Okay? There are other limitations, like the responsiveness of the pixels. So the display needs to have a good enough gray to gray to closely follow the Blur Busters law. Okay? But let's see what happens if I increase the speed a little bit. Okay, so I increased the speed here to 120 pixels per second. And the UFO test now looks a little bit blurry. Just a little bit blurry. How blurry? Two pixels of motion blur. Why? Because we have two pixels per frame. Okay? 120 pixels per second at 60 hertz sample on hold is going to have a minimum motion blur of two pixels. So this is the minimum motion blur possible. It cannot be better than this. And you might think, man, that still looks good enough. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's okay. <laughs> I can still see, see it very well. But the eyes, if you look at the eyes, the pupils of the alien is blurry because you have two pixels of motion blur. Now let's increase the speed a little bit. 
Now we are at 240 pixels per second. We have four pixels per frame because the display is at 60 hertz sample and hold. And as you can see here, it is a blurry mess. <laughs> okay. This is trash because we have four pixels of motion blur. Okay. 60 hertz, 240 pixels per second sample and hold. We have four pixels of motion blur here. Let's see, I'm going to follow. So what I'm trying to do with my camera is to simulate eye tracking. So I, I, ideally, I want to have the camera moving at the same speed as the UFO test. And it's tough, but it is blurry, very blurry. I cannot distinguish the eyes of the alien. Let's see what happens on the Plasma TV, which is also 60 hertz, and I'm going to be moving at the exact same speed. Okay, I have the Plasma TV right here. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Let's see. Let me follow that. Look at that. It looks perfect. <laughs> you see the eyes of the alien? You can clearly distinguish the eyes of the alien. It is perfectly clear. See? Clearly see the eyes of the alien. Same speed, 240 pixels per second, four pixels per frame, 60 hertz, 1080p. And the motion cloud is perfect. No problem whatsoever. So what does that mean? What that means is that the Plasma TV has four milliseconds of persistence, okay? So this is the absolute minimum motion blur any display can have if it has four milliseconds of persistence. So ideally, if the gray to gray, if the responsiveness of the pixels is good enough, the UFO test should look like this if I move at 960 pixels per second. But as you will see here, the Plasma TV doesn't look like this. Even when I demonstrated to you that it has 4 milliseconds of persistence. And the reason is the Plasma TV has gray to gray limitations and the motion just breaks after I go beyond 240 pixels per second. I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, I just changed the speed to 960 pixels per second. I'm going to try to follow the UFO. And as you can see, there's a lot of, a little bit of ghosting, which is not bad. It's like CRT kind of ghosting, but it looks worse than it should look at 960 pixels per second. It doesn't look terrible, but it looks worse than it should look. Definitely worse. So I changed the speed, I reduced the speed to 480 pixels per second. And because the Plasma TV has four milliseconds of persistence, at this speed, we could have a minimum motion blur of two pixels. Two pixels of motion blur. So that, that should look very good. It actually doesn't look as good as it should because of though, because of that gray to gray limitations and maybe other factors that I'm not aware of. It's looking okay, but it doesn't look as good as it should. Very difficult to follow, but you get the idea. This doesn't look as this. It should look like this. So this is how two pixels of motion blur looks like. You see here it says two milliseconds of persistence, but two milliseconds of persistence is equal to two pixels of motion blur when moving at 960 pixels per second. But I was moving at 480 pixels per second and the Plasma TV has four milliseconds of persistence. So then that means that I should be getting two pixels of motion blur at best. And this is how 
two pixels of motion blur looks like and that's not what I see what I see looked a lot worse than that again see it looks a lot worse than that okay so let's take a look at the LCD same speed this is the LCD office monitor it looks terrible <laughs> absolutely terrible like you cannot distinguish anything on the LCD at that speed plasma again it's a lot more clear even when the motion clarity is kind of breaking at this speed it is still much better than the LCD much better so yeah let me know if you have any questions